Hey everybody, it is me, the Force with Jesse. I am, I'm here in my to be brand new Star Wars room. It's been a while. Um, <laughs> it's been 18 months, uh, a little bit over 18 months since I've had a Star Wars room. As you can see, it's it's slowly taking shape. Um, yeah, so as most of you know, I went through a bit of a separation about a year and a half ago. Um, it was all for the best. It was, you know, I'm doing fantastic now. Life is fantastic. Um, and me and my girlfriend have just finally got a place of our own. Uh, we have space. We're super happy. Everything's great. And uh, for at least the next probably 12 to 18 months, I reckon, um, we'll be calling this place our own. Uh, a nice little home where we sort of starting off a new life together and uh it means i also get to get my collection out it's most of this stuff has been in storage for about yeah 18 months it was january early february uh 2022 i don't even know what year it is it's so hard but anyway i am uh you know my videos have been somewhat sporadic over the last 12 to 18 months um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get back in, start doing regular content, regular figure reviews. Um, this will be the first video in a bit of a series as I set up my Star Wars room again. Um, so if we just sort of take a look around, you know, I've got a, I've got a little desk set up where I can start filming some videos again. Um, I've got tripods, I've got microphones, I want to start streaming again. Um, yeah, I apologize if the camera's a little bit shaky. I'll try and edit that in uh, post-production. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back and, and doing some more frequent streams again. Um, that's one of the things I miss more than anything about the YouTube community is, is talking to people and talking to Star Wars fans and my Star Wars friends. And, you know, I was doing them almost weekly. Um, you know, it was took a year and a half to two years, three years ago. Um, I, it was a good run. I had a really good time and uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully sort of picking back where I left off and uh, you know, maybe not weekly. We'll work ourselves into it. Um, I'm not going to rush this thing um, just because, I don't know, I've got a lot to, I've got a lot to do in here. Um, but I look forward to sharing this journey of setting up the Star Wars room. You know, I have very little furniture. I have no shelves. Um, it's going to take gonna take a few trips to Ikea I think um, due to the, after the separation I, I didn't take any of my furniture um, I left that all behind that was just out of simplicity and not knowing where and how I was gonna store it so I decided to just leave it all behind and knowing one day that I have to start fresh again so here I am um, yeah I definitely want to get back into doing this thing you know I haven't stopped collecting that's been if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you can see that's still going strong. Um, definitely sort of been playing around with a few different lines. Um, so I'm looking forward to having some figures set up again. I've got big plans and, um, you know, it's just about, at the moment, it's just about getting some getting some funds together um, to start doing some trips to Ikea and bringing home some shelves. Um, at the moment, the, the landlord for this place has actually left this big big unit here um, so at the moment I've pretty much just filled that up with my books um, just because I had so many boxes of books it was taking up a lot of space on the floor and they were really heavy so I thought I'm just gonna use that books for now eventually on this wall here where I have you know tubs of figures there's my sort of physical media um, my blu-rays DVDs VHS all that sort of stuff some card of figures, got a few more boxes of pictures. Um, so yeah, I think this wall here, that's going to be um, figures. Um, I've kind of got an idea of what I want to get. Um, I'm going to go sort of a bit more industrial sort of rack shelving, I think. Um, whereas along here, I'm probably going to cover that door. There's a door there that actually goes outside. And uh, that's the door that goes back into the house. Um, so I'm probably going to actually just put some put some bookshelves over those over that door um, at the moment. I'm still not sure, as um, obviously because I've got quite a lot of window space there. Um, I may end up just sort of covering over a little bit of the windows with books. Um, you know, it's with with collectibles, it's hard. Um, 
it's always been tricky trying to filter out natural light, natural light, you know, sunlight, UV rays. That's that can damage your collectibles, um, you know, wear out your plastic, um, turn yellow, everything. So I probably will more than likely end up putting some stuff over the window. Um, these curtains are great. They're, we've actually got a lot of afternoon sunlight beaming straight onto them right now. So you can see there's a fair, fair bit of light, but it's, it's, it's stopping it pretty much. So I know the curtains are gonna do their job there. Um, thinking in the corner there, I do have a bit of a recliner chair. Um, and my, my sort of idea there is that's where I want to sort of host my live streams and my podcast. Um, being able to have my computer there at the desk, just sort of pivot on the, on the chair and be able to just sort of chat to people. Um, so I've got, I've got, I've got some big goals for this room. Um, but yeah, I think this wall and that corner will be figures probably next to the desk there. Probably have a couple of shelves of black series. And then on this side, that'll three and three quarter um got some sort of ideas some sort of industrial rack shelving from bunnings um bunnings is like a big hardware store for those who aren't in australia um that way i can display my razor uh razor crest sail barge which is up there in a plastic bag i need to i can't wait to set that bad boy up again with the skiffs um but that shelving will allow a lot of extra space so i'm <sighs> Like just taking a look around, you know, I've got one of these tubs, let's have a look. See, that's just, you can only just sort of see some of the solo figures, some episode one stuff, there's some pod races. Two tubs there full of figures, I think one's Marvel, one's DC. Um, yeah, got a couple of boxes here that are full of figures and displays. That's like, it's six scale, one six scale collectibles. Um, let's see if I can flip the, there we go. See so yeah, a desk, you know, I've got box figures, some random stuff there. You know, it was a, Packing was quite a uh, hasty process. It wasn't done out of anger at the time, <laughs> um, but it was more of a case of I needed to get out of that situation and quickly. So unfortunately I didn't get to pack things as nice and neatly as I would have loved. Um, Cause yeah, like I said, some of these figures I've literally just sort of scooped them off the shelf in there. So it's gonna, it's gonna take some time um, you know, there's going to be accessories loose at the bottom of the tubs. Luckily, I have a good memory <laughs> um, when it comes to my Star Wars figures. And I know sort of what weapons go with what figures. Um, you know, I reserve a lot of space in my, in my brain for that. But um, yeah, books, you know, I've, I've added quite a few books to my collection. Um, there's still some stuff in storage that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, it's only going to be like a, a box or two, perhaps. Um, but yeah, well, I've basically stored all my stuff with my parents as they sort of sold their house and are building a new house. So we both, we all ended up adding our stuff into storage. Got a couple of hot toys that I can't wait to put in those cubes at the top there. Um, you know, I've got Ahsoka, Bo-Katan and Art Trooper Jesse. Had to get it, obviously. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to displaying them up the top there. Um, uh, I'm not sure what this shelf unit is called. It's very similar to a Kallax uh, IKEA unit, but it's obviously got the big uh, TV sort of spot there. So I'm thinking that's probably where my Razor Crest is going to go. Obviously, the box is there. Um, yeah, figures on the floor. <laughs> got toys everywhere. Got Lego. I'm trying to sell some pieces. And some carded stuff. Boxes of couple of tubs there of carded figures that I've kept, some I'm selling on. Um, yeah, just to try and raise a few funds. But um, yeah, I aim to, um, you know, maybe do my first live stream again this Saturday. Um, if I can, you know, I, don't, I understand I don't need to have the setup. I don't need to have the setup and the backdrop, you know. <laughs> people know what's going on so that's the purpose of these videos is um 
you know, as I get some shelves in and I want to document this process over the next, you know, month or two, however long it takes, um, you know, a Star Wars collection is never complete, is it? So I'm really looking forward to uh, bringing everyone along for the ride, um, for my new Star Wars room. I'm so, it's just, you know, I've, as much as everything has been, it's been a tough couple of years, um, things are on the right path and I'm very excited to be to be moving moving on with my life. Um, definitely been a few hiccups along the way. About a month ago, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, so I'm working my ass off to manage that. Um, and that's been a learning process in itself. But uh, I'm not scared. I'm not worried. I'm not upset. I was a little bit shocked about that diagnosis, but, um, you know, along with, you know, my mental health, um, which, you know, is a big deal. Like I've, I've, I'm still sort of treating myself for that and managing that. Um, hopefully, you know, that's, that's pretty much under control for the most part. Um, we all have great days and bad days, but, um, yeah, the diabetic thing, that's, that's taken some adjusting, you know, type two. It's, it's, the better of the two scenarios um but you know it's a, a sort of a it's almost a 1.5 uh just the circumstances involving the diagnosis um so it's it's going to be an adjustment um it has been an adjustment so far but you know <laughs> what can you do it's either it's either you adapt to it or you you know you make major health risks later in life so i'm not willing to take those risks i've still got a lot of life to live and uh a lot of fun to be had in this Star Wars room with 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 all of you guys and my partner. Um, she's amazing. I look forward to. <laughs> I still I still don't think she's got absolutely any idea what my collection is. Um, once it's all set up, you know the figures, the vehicles, all that sort of stuff. Once it's all, you know, I look back on my um, collection room of yesteryear. Um, you know, I've always that's they're still like my collection videos on my YouTube channel are still. Um, videos that do really well even like there's one room tour I did in 2014 that still gets so many views and it's so outdated now because it's nearly been 10 years but um yeah really looking forward to getting this thing happening so um yeah please come along if you're new here subscribe um come follow me on Instagram for photos um and yeah just I hope you enjoy and bring come along for the journey um I do have memberships which I look forward to getting back on track I do appreciate those awesome bunch of people um, that have continued supporting me through the YouTube memberships over the last 18 months, um, even though the content has been quite minimal. Um, I'm, I'm getting back on track and uh, yeah, it's it, ushering in a new era of my YouTube journey, which I've been doing for nearly 12 years. So. Um, yeah, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all your support. Those who've stuck around for years, those who've kept in touch, you know, made some great friends over YouTube over the years. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. So I'll see you very, very shortly. More reviews coming. I've got new toys. I've got a spot to do reviews, like I said. Got a nice little desk and uh, a chair. A comfortable, comfortable spinny chair, which makes me happy. So stay tuned for them and... Uh, May the force be with you guys always.